Hey, welcome to the Sander Fact. Uh, today we'll be talking about how I stay organized. We'll talk specifically about the writing side of things. I find that solid organization in my life helps me be productive. I am not what we call a binge writer. I don't write in huge bursts of, you know, frenzy. I write a little bit every day. And I found that organization is very helpful for this. So a couple of things that I do that I might recommend to you. First is I have certain dedicated writing blocks and I make sure to move everything else out of those writing blocks and try to move them around so that as much as possible, my writing time is sacrosanct. And I'm not gonna get interrupted. As a sort of nod to that, I make sure that evenings are spent with my families. This is so that they know they're important and they have time. Um, I actually write in two blocks. I write from one or noon until five, and then I generally write from like 10 until two. And the time in between those two is generally time for my family, unless you know there's something else going on like my class. And this organization, these kind of siloing, putting a firewall between family and writing time was really essential to me. Because if I hadn't done it, what I found early in my career, before I, I'd figured this out, is that I would spend all my time with my family thinking about my books. Writing can really just take over your life like that. And by putting these kind of firm firewalls in place, uh, it's helped me really have a more solid family life, which has in turn made my whole life feel better and more stable. So I recommend something like that. Uh, another thing that I've done is I move all of my interviews, all of my doing things for YouTube, things like this into non-writing time, and I've given up one entire day, Thursdays for me, to be doing things like that. It's when I do my class, it's when I do calls with my agent. It's when people, if they say, I need a, a few minutes of Brandon's time, we try to schedule it on a Thursday. That way, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday can be dedicated to writing time, and everyone knows that there is a place where they can get a hold of me. Thursdays do get a little tight. I, uh, I know Adam's like sometimes having to play Tetris with my schedule, trying to slide things in here and there, but it does help keep me productive. In the writing itself, I generally have a couple of things I'm working from. One is my regular file that I'm writing in. This is in Microsoft Word, just a regular you know, Word document. And I usually write a chapter, and then when I finish that chapter, I'll paste it into a longer document that is the entire novel that's slowly growing so I can keep track of pacing and how long the book is. Uh, other things I'm using at this time is I use an internal wiki that my team keeps up to date that I can use for finding out, you know, if I need to go back and research, all right, who, what was this character's eye color? What did they say in that scene that was so important? You know, how did I describe them? I can go to the wiki and it's all there. Uh, Karen, the continuity editor, keeps that up to date. We use a program called WickedPad. It's an open source wiki software. Another thing I do is I generally have uh, two types of outlines. One is my main outline. It's usually called a book guide. It has general themes. It's where I built, you know, my plot. I've organized it and all these things. Watch my lectures if you want a detailed explanation of how I come up with that. The other one is what I call my floating outline. This is the next few chapters in bullet points saying these are the things I need to achieve next. And I'm adding to that as I'm writing and kind of keeping an eye on what's coming up, what detailed things do I need to make sure go in this chapter so that the next chapter uh, can have the foreshadowing needs, that sort of stuff. And these things all together are how I organize my life and my books.